Hey everyone, it's been over two minutes. I haven't been raped yet. Whew. Hi, I'm Diana Davison, and I've been pretty busy this weekend, and this is going to be kind of a short video. I'm kind of late uploading it actually because I've been so busy. I did a podcast on Friday that's going to be uploaded to my channel with a link to the podcast so you can go you know, view it directly and see the other work this guy's done. Awesome conversation. So I'm excited when that's ready to air. And also tonight I was out at a viewing or a showing of the Red Pill movie by Cassie J, filmmaker Cassie J. She's done a couple of really awesome documentaries. And I gotta tell you, I wasn't expecting a lot when I went there, but it was a lot better than I expected. So yay Cassie, great job. There was a discussion afterwards. And if you follow me on Twitter, D2 Davison, at D2 Davison, then uh, I will put a link to the discussion that took place after the movie showing. So that's where I was tonight, and uh, so that's why I'm late doing the video now. But in a way, that's why you get to see me on camera. Uh, what I actually have planned is a discussion about a writer, uh, acclaimed writer, named Stephen Galloway. He's been in the news for the last year. He was um, suspended from University of British Columbia, or UBC, um, because a bunch of claims were made about him. They were really ambiguous. They said they were serious allegations, so people assumed the worst. He was then let go after an investigation into the claims against him, even though those claims were pretty much all unsubstantiated, except for one, and not the most serious. But there's no big rush to talk about Stephen Galloway right now, because Margaret Atwood is on the case, right? So recently, a bunch of famous authors in Canada have decided to challenge UBC for letting Stephen Galloway go for firing him, even though the charges weren't substantiated. They had discussed this stuff in public, but they didn't tell people exactly what was going on. So, Mr. Galloway, if you defend him, you're called a rape apologist, even though, as far as I know, he was not actually accused of raping anybody. But, um, you know, all of this is going to become totally clear, and everybody's going to have a rational conversation, because the wordsmiths of Canada, the people who know how to use words properly and effectively, they're going to explain it to these radical feminists who are all out for blood. But for some reason, I don't think that's going to work out all that well. But I do think that Margaret Atwood is a tough bird, and I think she can put up with the harassment. She's already gotten a fair bit. Uh, she's not the only one, but anyways, I will be talking about that in more detail later. I just didn't have time to do it this weekend, as you can understand. I was flitting about at all of these events. So anyways, podcast coming up. And um, if you follow me on Twitter, if you don't, then do it, uh, because that's where I'm going to post a link to the um, discussion that took place after the Red Pill movie. All right, so I'll put a description of the Red Pill movie in the low bar, so anybody who isn't aware of the movie can go check it out. It's a discussion, it's actually a feminist who's investigated the men's rights movement who actually does a fair review of it. Um, certainly you can go read the reviews of this and you'll see the criticisms. That's a good way to set yourself up to be pleasantly surprised when you go watch the movie, because it's, it's actually fairly good. So um, follow me on Twitter, D2 Davison. I will put a link to the discussion we had after that, which wasn't just about the movie. It was about a lot of the issues that were brought up in the film. And um, then I guess aside from that, um, people who are waiting to hear more about The Lighthouse Project, hopefully there's a lot of them out there, I have a thing I'm doing called The Lighthouse Project that also takes a lot of time, but it's so worthwhile. Um, I am going to court on Wednesday to be with somebody who's facing false accusations in court. Lighthouse Project is a resource put together to help people who've been falsely accused, um, you know, primarily of sexual assault, but also of domestic violence. Um, you know, you've been falsely accused, contact me, and um, we are putting together resources to help you help yourself and to help you clear your name and prove your innocence in a court of law. So that's where I'm going to be on Wednesday this week. And again, I guess great to be on camera and I've been on camera earlier tonight. I will put a link to that on Twitter. So take care everybody and uh, hopefully really interesting video about Mr. Stephen Galloway coming up next weekend.